This is so fun. By the way, I've never done this before, so. <laughs> I want us to be happy about the weather and every single, I don't know whether something's happened to meteorologists to make you all a little bit fatalistic and, and <laughs> harbingers of doom. As a climate scientist, I often do feel like a harbinger of doom. We know that climate change is making heat waves a lot stronger, a lot more frequent and more dangerous. People die during heat waves. People go to the hospital during heat waves. Heat waves are serious business. You can't sugarcoat it. But what we know is that we truly have the ability to make a difference. We can help our cities and our ecosystems become more resilient to heat, and we can turn off the hose and cut our carbon emissions that are causing this problem in the first place. We see the frequency of hurricanes going down, actually. No significant increase in the intensity of hurricanes. Mm. The frequency of hurricanes isn't going down. It goes up and down from year to year. And we know that hurricanes are getting stronger. We still see about the same number of them, but they're super powered by warm ocean waters. So when that hurricane forms, it intensifies faster, it's stronger, it dumps out a lot more rain, and it is way more damaging than that same hurricane would have been 50 or 100 years ago. So it all that bad air is still there. But since we don't control the air, our good air decided to float over to China, bad air. <laughs> so when China gets our good air, their bad air gotta move. So it moves over to our good air space. <laughs> and now we gotta clean that bike up. He's right that our air travels around the planet. We get the pollution from China and other places get the pollution from the United States and Canada as well. We have to realize that we all share this home. We don't have borders that go all the way up to outer space. We all have to make the changes, every single one of us. And you know what? China has a long way to go, but they have twice the amount of green energy that they does. There's a lot that all of us can be doing, no matter who we are, no matter where we live. Let's take the log of our own eye first before we look at the twig in somebody else's.